I don't know about you guys, but I've always had a wandering eye for European cars. We might as well just get it out in the open right now. I love European cars, but shh, don't tell anybody. It's my little secret. And here we have right here, a 1966 Carmen Ghia. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a rare Volkswagen indeed. Um, so it was uh, bodied in Italy by Ghia and uh, the underneath and the underbelly and everything else, the engine and all that made by Volkswagen of, you know, Germany. Of course, how do you like that ferocious grill? Also, I want you to know this car um, was around for a while already in 1966 and it, the front of it looks like a 1961 Plymouth Fury, one of the fiercest cars of all time. You gotta cut to a Plymouth Fury here, okay? Dune buggy alert. Dune buggy culture forever and always. All the things you can do in your dune buggy. This one, beautiful blue with some flames. It's got some patina, which we appreciate. Yes, it does. It's got a little NASA decal on it. And uh, it's called the moon buggy. Oh, it's the 1960 Volkswagen moon buggy. Very fun, very nice, total classic. Are you the owner of this vehicle, sir? Well, just by chance, I are. What can you tell us about your <gasps> moon buggy? Well, it's just, uh, moon buggy, sorry. It's just making its debut on Earth. We built it about a year ago down here in San Diego. We're a local. We live about a, two miles from here, and it's ready to rock today. So where are you going to roll it? Uh, well, let's see. We go out to the sand dunes. We go to Venus. Every now and then Pluto, but Pluto's rare because it's so small. There's not enough room. You hit everybody. So what about the finish on this? This is a, an old finish, which I love. The patina is fantastic. So you've kind of like combined the new with the old here, yet you've like created a vehicle that clearly has a very old soul. It does have an old soul, yes indeed. Which and it's, is, is kind of what we all go for with the old car world. We want old souls. Except for my son, who's the passenger, and everywhere I go, he goes. This is like his private Hot Wheel. Awesome, dude. And oh, 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 you guys. Okay, this is major, this is real, this is deep. Get ready, here it is right now, sir. What beautiful masterpiece of perfection have you created here? This is called a Decopod. Uh, it's a one of six that were custom made by a friend of mine in, Gra in Grants Pass, Oregon. And it's uh, underneath is a Piaggio MP3 scooter and the body is entirely hand formed for it. And uh, how does it drive? Oh, it drives terrific. He actually, when he builds the scooter, he takes off about 20 pounds and he, the body only weighs 45 pounds, so it's on a gross of, of uh, 25, rides wonderfully. How fast does it go? Well, it'll go 70 as, as uh, they say, it was on Jay Leno's garage program and Rand, Randy, the builder, told Jay, it'll go 70 on the freeway. And Jay said, yeah, we're going on the freeway. Within 10 minutes, he was riding it on the freeway. Going 70? 70, yes. How's a vehicle like this feel at 70 miles an hour? It's okay. It's because it, because it's a solid uh, shell around you. Uh, you don't get wind blowing on you. The windshield pushes it off of your face. And of course, you're wearing a helmet. So it's a, a very pleasant ride. says, please do not touch. Your fingerprints will spoil the surface. Of course, who would even want to touch this thing because it's otherworldly? I know, I can't even get over it. I've never even seen anything like this. It's really like, don't take this the wrong way, but it's precious. It's just precious. Did you guys get a shot of the little rear end? It has a little fin on it and everything, little tail lights. Now, if I wanted to buy one of these, now, uh, what, kind of, what kind of clams are we talking about? How much would it set me back? Okay, I made a deal with Randy. I wouldn't talk specific prices. Oh, okay. Okay, but we're talking between twenty and $30,000. That's all? Yeah, how about that? I thought you were going to say like 100000 This is a masterpiece. I can have this one for fifty. <laughs> I can have this one for fifty. I don't think I would fit in it. But look how cute it is. Are you guys getting a really good look at this? It's like your little headrest and everything right here. And the, it's like, it's a scooter. It is a scooter in disguise, you guys. It's a scooter with a mask on.
And oh, what's it say right there? Oh, Randy Grubb, that's his name, and this is number four. That's his signature, and that's Jay's, Jay Leto's. Uh, okay. On his show. Okay, gosh, and it says, when the door is removed, maximum airspeed, 100 miles an hour. What's that mean? Well, you know, <laughs> you don't want to go too fast in there. Okay, you want to keep your speed under control. And it handles well? Highest it will go is 11,950 feet, so, you know. It's oh, it flies, too. Of course it flies. And what is its name again? Deco Pod. The Deco Pod. Did you come up with that? No, that's Randy's again. Okay. Well, would you please tell Randy that he's awesome, and so are you, dude. Thanks for talking to us, and happy traveling in the Deco Pod. Thank you for joining us for the 2015 Tiki Oasis Car Show. I'm your host, Charles Phoenix. Goodbye. Bye.